What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the Stab 8 news that went around the internet yesterday. Now, I know some people have already talked about it, so I'll go really fast in terms of the recap of the news, and then I want to talk about my opinion, which I guarantee is going to be different than probably what you've heard. I have a lot of maybe controversial things to say, and, and hopefully that's okay with everybody at home. So let's, again, read through this news first, and I'll talk about it. One Take News has learned from sources that director Ryan Johnson will be directing the fictional Stab 8 in 2022 Scream. He is referenced in the film as being the guy from Knives Out. In Scream, all the fans hate Stab 8, and Johnson directing the film is meant to make fun of fans who become toxic because some sequels don't do what they want. The Last Jedi, like The Last Jedi. Sadly, Johnson will not cameo in the film, but he is thanked in the credits of the movie. Okay, so... Okay, that's it. That's I mean, that's the news, right? So Stab 8's officially confirmed at this point, right? I, I guess technically up until this point, it wasn't known for sure. I mean, that last picture they showed, well, I think Christmas Eve or maybe the day before when, uh, you know, you saw Dewey and them sitting on the couch, you could see Stab 8, or you could see Stab, sorry, Stab in general, which probably was Stab 8, on Blu-ray. And uh, they're studying, it seems like probably they're looking through the movies, right? So that's cool. That's fine. Now, this news, a couple things I want to say, all right? Number one, if you don't agree with my opinion, that's totally cool. I'll respect yours so long as you respect mine, okay? that's Hopefully, that's clear and, and we can move to step two. Number two, if there's any film or franchise in the world that I think could handle like a meta commentary on toxic fans, I do think it would be Scream, okay? If there's any single thing I would trust the most to do it, it would be this movie or this franchise, okay? Number three... It's hard to judge, and especially so what I'm going to say next, it's hard to do it because obviously we haven't seen the movie, so we don't know exactly what's going to be said or like the small little nods or references, right? So it's hard to talk about it now. And one final thing before I say my controversial stuff, if they say certain things, maybe a certain character throws out a line, then I think it could all be good so long as they you know, at least uh, recognize what I'm about to say, okay? Those are the three kind of benchmarks I want to say before we get into it. So I, on first glance, I do not like this whatsoever. And I've seen a lot of people online in the Scream community coming after people like me saying, you know, these these people being mad at it, you know, they're part of the problem. I don't think that's true at all. I think that's kind of a, a jump to attack, if, if you would. Uh, so here's the deal. I hate The Last Jedi. Now, if you don't hate The Last Jedi, that's more than fine, okay? You can say, well, Alex, what does The Last Jedi... So here's the deal. I want to kind of make this clear. This is obviously about toxic fans in general. Ryan Johnson and Stab 8 are just the the layer, right? When you do meta commentary and when you're like, you know, self, you know, referencing things, right? They're talking about things as a whole, just like reboots or remakes like they did in 4, so on and so on, right? They've done this literally since the beginning. Also, again, this is nothing new, them having like a take on like a pop culture kind of thing, okay? So I'm not saying like this is radically new stuff that's making me so upset. No. So you have to keep all that stuff under consideration. However, it is clear to me, at least right now, that they chose this on purpose because they're picking on specifically specifically Star Wars and even more specifically The Last Jedi. So it's not it is movies in general, it is fandoms in general, but realistically they're really going after including even what this little excerpt online said. They're going really after The Last Jedi fandom, okay, or the the toxicity. Now, again, here's the thing. Do I I want to make it clear that were there people that overstepped with The Last Jedi. Yes. Are there people that overstep with everything on planet Earth? Yes. There always are threats and doxings and all that. Like, that always... No, I'm not saying that's okay. That's horrible and that should never happen. That is toxic. That's the bad part of the internet. That's the bad part of humanity. That's the part that we don't want to do, right? I say, you know, for even like gaming, I cover that all the time in gaming. That's the stuff. I love criticizing. I love supporting the idea that you can be critical and speak up and say, hey, you know what? I didn't like that part or I don't, I don't agree with this. I think you have that right big time. And I think that's been, been a thing online where you're not allowed to say that. And that actually comes full circle here. I'll talk about in a second. That really has been pushed aside where it's like you can't have anything negative to say. You're either with the group or you're like you're the Anakin quote. You're with them or you're against them. OK, so I think you can criticize, but obviously taking it over the line, messaging like the director and threatening them. is obviously that's too far. So does toxic fandoms exist? Yes. Am I saying there is no toxic fandom group in Star Wars? No, there absolutely is. But the thing that I don't like is that anybody 
who didn't like the last jedi if you remember and i was there i can t i can show you articles and i can i can tell you that anybody who didn't like this movie was considered toxic. In fact, remember when the reviews first came out for this movie, they called it Russian accounts, that it was Russian bots that were uh, review bombing The Last Jedi, which was hilarious. And then anybody that said, you know, this ruined Star Wars or this killed the franchise or I hated this movie or whatever, anybody who said that was labeled as toxic. So, and, and I would say, you know, that is a Last Jedi issue. That's a Last Jedi specific thing that I can vividly remember and I can see the articles in my head. And this does happen for other things in general, right? So I don't want to just make it about The Last Jedi because it is about other things. So again, what I basically am saying and what I want this movie to hopefully do is if this is a big deal, because granted, this could be like a 30 second conversation. It could be so fast. It could, you know, the guy from Knives Out, oh, is that the one that everybody hated because it was so different and it pushed it in a different direction yeah they laugh and then it's over like if it's just that that is kind of still stupid because you're not you're I, I don't know it's very one-sided actually that's probably the main reason but i mean it's so short i'll overlook it okay but if we're talking like this is a big deal like stab eight is a big part because we don't know we don't know how much stab eight is a big part of this film uh you know how long before scream like when this uh, events of 2022 are happening how long before that did stab eight happen right how much is stab eight referenced and used throughout the movie again or like are they studying stab eight to like you know be able to conquer whatever's happening now and because it's so different they're saying like scream is going to be so different you know there's a lot of stuff they could or could not do with it i guess all i want all i'm asking for is just don't be too one-sided don't say something like you know, everyone hated it and they're all, you know, something like that. And I think, do I think they'll do it? I'm honestly 50 50 on. I think they really could just go down the route that anybody who, you know, hated it. And, and again, like this is a, this is a metaphor. This isn't even so much about Scream. I mean, this video really is not even about Scream or Stab. It's about the internet community. Yes, there's toxicity, but it's not one sided. And it's not also, because by the way, there are positive review bombings too. When everybody says, oh, this movie got review bombed. You can also look, it most likely got 10 out of 10s from all these random accounts too to even it out. And those are also, by the way, those are fake. Those aren't real. So, you know, you, you often over, uh, overlook the positives, but specifically for The Last Jedi, again, anybody who didn't like it is considered toxic to a large part of the Star Wars fandom. And that's, that's pathetic. That's stupid. That's not being able to accept that some people don't think the way you think, which is fine. And some people, you know, just don't like something that you do like, which also, by the way, is fine. So I hope they just know that. That's all I'm asking. And again, it could be a throwaway line. I don't know how many characters are talking about it. Somebody could say, you know, somebody could say that, you know, everybody who hated it, you know, those are like the toxic people. And somebody could say, well, I hated it. It was different, and but it was dumb. Like it ruined the character. Like they could say something like that. And that would save, I would say the conversation, not even because I believe that is true, right? Because I do, you know, I'm on that side that I didn't like the movie, but just so much as like, to not make it one-sided just like i wouldn't really want them to say oh that you know the movie really did suck and everybody you know people who liked it are so wrong they're idiots they're losers. like i don't want that you know what i mean like even it out like have somebody be opposed to it so again like we don't know what it's gonna be like and hopefully well you know they do it right and uh, but again i'm kind of 50 50 on it but also it could be a less than a minute conversation that's over before you know it and all is good so let me know what you guys think in the comments below again i will respect your opinion to you know be different than mine as long as you respect my opinion keep that in mind make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up if you want to follow me anywhere else i have a twitter i have a second youtube channel i also have patreon and youtube memberships links for them all are in the description below thank you for watching i hope to see you all on the next video